another trip around the sun this week, so I booked a last minute solo glamping trip to Fredericksburg. I've only been riding a little over four months and this was by far my longest solo ride yet, totaling over 230 miles and it was perfect in so many ways. Well, I slept really well. I really did. It was very peaceful. I felt comfortable. It's a really cool Airbnb. I would for sure 100% come back here. It's just absolutely wonderful. I can't believe I drove my motorcycle two hours, over two hours because of traffic and stuff. So like two and a half hours. I had to stop a few times, but I cannot believe that I drove here and there's something about being by yourself too that just really, and just traveling in general, I think by yourself is really cool, but it's really something different on the motorcycle, that's for sure. It's a, a very, it's on a, another spiritual level, riding the bike somewhere by yourself and especially kind of being out in, I'm not out in the middle of nowhere, but I am around nature and wilderness and the town's like five minutes that way, but I do feel very secluded and taking these country roads back here was just absolutely beautiful. Texas is really pretty. It's very, very pretty. Okay, let's go see what this hot tub's about. So cool, I just saw a family of deer run across. Oh, I don't wanna leave. All right, since it was so dark last night, I'm gonna walk around and see what is on the compound. There's like a communal 
pool and sauna and deck area that I'm gonna check out. There's like. starving now so I think I'm gonna pack up a little early and head into town for some breakfast. Seems really windy out today. Let's see. Oh yeah. Doesn't say how much but it looks like rain's coming in. I'll beat the rain. I love my saddlebag so much still, and I managed to fit everything in there, but I'm definitely going to need a second one very soon. I heard that Kalachi had the best coffee in Fredericksburg, so I ended up just getting a small breakfast here before I headed back home. On my way back home, there were wind gusts up to 18 to 20 miles per hour. This was challenging. I had to take more frequent breaks and I adjusted my speed by slowing down. I did try leaning into the wind while doing my best not to tense up. I definitely got sore from this. Riding solo can deepen your spiritual experience. It links you to yourself and to nature it can cultivate mindfulness, self-reflection, creativity, gratitude, and feeling connected with the universe all while enjoying the thrill on the open road on two wheels. For me, it's trips like this that really creates a sense of connection to something larger than ourselves. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did going on it and creating it. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys on the next video.